Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. I'm outside here today getting a nice little day hike in, enjoying some time with my dog Luna and also enjoying some time with the VanQuest Katara 16. Now the Katara 16 you'll hear a lot of people and other reviewers talking about as an EDC bag. I have my own philosophies on EDC and I do have to say right away the Katara not quite for me an EDC bag but I gotta tell you it is absolutely awesome for my journey today, a little day hike, the basic supplies that I need, and the types of things that I'm gonna to need to keep organized while I'm out here on the trails. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through this in detail. I'm gonna enjoy it while I'm out here, enjoy some time with my dog, enjoy some time in the beautiful wilderness, but we're gonna talk about the Katara 16 in a good amount of detail. And so with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at VanQuest who did provide this for review. Now in the introduction, you heard me say, well, I don't think this is so much an EDC bag for me. Again, I have my own EDC philosophies. My EDC consumes a good amount of space. I have a slightly larger laptop at this point, and my gear really doesn't fit in the Katara 16. And that's the first thing, the Katara 16, a nice slimline and compact bag, fits between your shoulder blades, and is really in some ways minimalistic, even though it has a ton of organization. And so if that's the case, where does this bag fall? Well, for me, it's literally perfect for a day like today. I'm not going terribly far, but I need some basic gear with me. I have my dog. I need some water. I need the different things that kind of get things out of my pockets, yet at the same time goes into the bag, keeps it organized and safe, and has everything pretty much where I need it, where it's not going to fall out of my pockets, and I know it'll be here when I get out of the woods. And even furthermore, I've spent a huge amount of my life mountain biking. Mountain biking is a place where I think this bag literally would excel. Nice and slim, rides really well, good quality padding, nice straps. It's gonna be durable, so when you take that massive, you know, flip over the handlebars, you know the bag's gonna be fine and actually maybe give you a little bit of protection too while it's at it. So overall, this to me is just a great bag for your day adventure, and that's why I have it with me today. Come on. Come on. Yep. Up. Up. Yep. Good girl. Yep. This way. Good job. Now a couple basic things worth considering. First off, this is bladder compatible. So if you like a water bladder, you're gonna be in luck. You have the ability to hang your water bladder and you have the ability to route the hose out the top down the shoulders and get that sip of water when you need it. For me personally, I don't really use water bladders, but I definitely use water bottles. This does not have built on external water bottle pockets. However, VanQuest does have the Hydro water bottle corsets, which do a great job. I use those all the time on my other packs. They're fantastic. And they'd bolt onto the sides of this bag with ease. The ride quality, fantastic. VanQuest always doing a fantastic job with their harnesses, their shoulder systems, their different straps, and the comfort while you're carrying. Now, one place where this is a little bit limited, it does not have a waist belt. That is maybe something that for some people might be a con. I think it works for this bag, but I do suggest that if you're gonna use this for something a little more aggressive, maybe you are gonna use this mountain biking, you probably need to add a little waist belt just to keep this in place. But as you can see, it definitely has a sternum strap, which is comfortable, does a nice job. It doesn't have really any bungee or shock like some of their other models, but it doesn't really need it and it works plenty fine. One of the best parts of VanQuest bags, I love how they handle the straps. I love the organization that you get right on your shoulder. I always carry a fixed blade knife on my weak side inverted while I'm hiking. And the fact that you can connect a number of different sort of sheath styles or clips really does work well, so I love that about the Katara. And if it wasn't for me temporarily misplacing my shoulder mount, I would have absolutely had the clip for my camera here right on the other shoulder. So again, very flexible, versatile, I love it. Nice job with the shoulder straps. And another thing that's very important, because VanQuest has a modular philosophy, the exterior of the bag really does leave it set up for a number of different pouches, 
number of different lashing points and the ability to really bolt on what you need on the exterior of the bag. Now my particular color in the black multicam. I love black multicam. If you've been watching my channel, you realize it is my jam. I absolutely love that colorway and it looks fantastic on this bag. VanQuest always doing a nice job. And what I really like the best is how it kind of pops. You end up with that high vis interior, which just looks so good against the multicam black. When you open the bag up, it's just really, really nice. When it comes down to it on a day like today, it is quite warm. It's, I don't know, maybe in the high 70s today. Not too bad in the way of humidity, but I'm definitely sweating. I'm getting into the wilderness a little bit deeper here, and I've been on the trail for a while. So now my heat and body temperature rising really needs to vent off. VanQuest always doing a nice job with their back panel, having a decent amount of ventilation, and the way they sort of structure the foam it does work well to aid in overall airflow. Now you'll notice a lot of other VanQuest packs do utilize more like a V sort of foam padding. So that does allow a nice channel for air to flow. This is a little bit different, but at the same time, I do find that even though I'm heating up, this is doing a pretty good job with airflow overall. But one of the best things, and what really does sort of convert this between a day pack and an EDC, I'd say maybe more of an urban EDC if you so choose. The fact that this can either be a two shoulder bag or a single shoulder sling bag, and it is ambidextrous. That is one thing that VanQuest does very well. They think through all the details and they left this bag very flexible for a number of different uses. So even though I'm using it two shoulder today, I could easily convert this and rock it as a sling bag. Now I know this sounds a little bit funny, but if there is one thing that I just get so excited about, when I have good gear, I just want to use it. And in fact, my inspiration for coming out here today in the first place, quite frankly, I wanted to rock this backpack. I wanted to get a good user's experience. I wanted to come out today and just enjoy it. It was a perfect opportunity to get out here with my dog, have some fun, get out, smell the pine needles, just enjoy the afternoon, enjoy this beautiful weather. So, you know, when you get some good gear, you gotta get out there and use it. Now, as I've been out on the trails, coming out to Bushcraft Wonderland, actually not for a Bushcraft Wonderland episode, but just kind of to come out here and just get outside, check things out, see what's going on over here, and see if this thing's still standing. So, it should be interesting. It's always an adventure walking up on this place. And, for the most part, it still stands. Hey, welcome to Bushcraft Wonderland, dog. What do you think? Little med kit, you know, some snacks, different things like that. Yeah, easy. I need bug juice is what I really need. Now as you take a look at some of the basics that I have here with me today, not a ton, but enough to get me by. Now the first thing I'm gonna say is due to the lack of overall height in the bag, I did need to separate my tripod. So, you know, that is one thing that as a reviewer, I always need my tripod and you'll notice here, I did separate it. If you take a look at my opening intro, you'll actually notice that I had the sort of top part of the tripod on the side of the bag. Now I was able to absolutely leverage this awesome Hypalon Molly for those purposes. But again, it just was a little too long to fit in the actual compartment. But just to give you some reference, VanQuest does say you can get approximately a 12 inch tablet inside this sleeve or the hydration bladder. Now again, you do have the ability to hang a hydration bladder, which is nice. And then I did find that my needs, I do need slightly larger devices. So that leaves this a little bit limited, but I definitely can use it for a number of different other accessories. Pretty sure my dog knows this is my place because she's tearing it apart. Anything mine? rips it apart. But as we go through the rest of the details, you'll notice I did carry my water on the inside. I certainly could have attached the water bottle corset very easily to the Hypalon on the outside, or then even on the front of the bag. I mean, very simple. I could have had a couple of water bottles on here with ease. Nice Velcro interior. So the ability to put subdivided organization, if you so choose, that would make this a real nice EDC bag. You know, I personally would get my tools kind of laid out here. I think that would be nice. And then you have a ton 
ton of additional capacity and a ton of additional storage when you flip the bag around. So you end up with all these tough mesh pockets which are beautiful. These are absolutely fantastic and VanQuest has a ton of accessories made from the same material, just very, very nice. You'll notice that you end up with your Spartan zipper pulls, which are very functional, work very well. YKK zippers throughout, and most of the zipper tracks, if not all of them, are inverted, which really does help protect the zipper track itself from damage. But you'll notice the main compartment here is actually a three-way passable design. So as you really operate, full pass through this way, or you end up with Velcro on top. So depending on what you're trying to do, you can go a couple of different ways and that kind of pulls all the way out of the way and you'll see again more Velcro, which is awesome. So if you really wanna lay this out a number of different ways you can, or if you wanna use this as part of your CCW capable compartment, you can do that as well. But with VanQuest, it's always about the details. Notice on the side, this little flap could have gone untouched, but no, they add this nice little wing. You end up with some shock keepers and actually a little slip pocket. Very simple, yet so effective. You could put pens, you could put, uh, you know, little sort of objects in there. I mean, for me, I would, I would probably put magazines, to be honest with you. And at least at that point, if you do CCW with this, you could have some added capacity. The side of the bag does leverage some snaps, so if you want to avoid this completely filleting all the way open, those snaps definitely do it. And you can see that you can tuck those out of the way, so if you don't use them, they get completely out of the way, but so easy just to kind of pull everything back out, and then at this point, get everything nice and snapped together. Now, when you look at the main compartment, you'll actually notice that with a lot of zipper tracks with VanQuest, they do a nice job integrating the ability to lock the bag, which as you take a look here, again, just this nice little pass-through design, you can get a lock on here. So if you do CCW with this, that is key. The ability to keep things secure is awesome. Now, remember, I already talked about the ability to route a hose for the hydration bladder out the top of the bag. Very easy, beautiful grab hand handles, nicely padded, very well done. A lot of times VanQuest does use box stitching. In this particular case, you'll notice they didn't. I'm a little bit surprised about that. I don't think it'll be a problem, but usually they go a little more heavy duty than that just caught me by surprise. Now remember again, the ability to go either two straps or single-sided. You have these sort of G hooks that you can unclip, and then at that point, this entire back panel pulls apart, which as we open this up, you can see everything Velcroed very nicely, and then a bright orange stitch, which helps you get this back into alignment. If you don't want the straps, you can take them off and you stuff them into the inside. Everything stows away, and just a real nice, simple, and effective system. Nicely done and well-engineered from VanQuest. Across the front of the bag, you can see here, this is kind of a catch-all pocket for me. Right now I have some batteries, you know, spare batteries for my camera equipment, my dog leash, I have her bowl, just the ability to keep some things nice and tidy. This is a pretty large pocket, all things considered. If I was using this for mountain biking, this would be an awesome place for spare tubes, things like that. And then across the top, another wonderfully done and laid out pocket, which at this point has more of that sort of tough mesh. I just stashed my keys in here so I don't accidentally lose them while I'm hiking around the woods. A couple of little accessories I need for my camera equipment and I thought I had the dog treats, but I'm not so sure they made it on the trip. But another pocket that's really cool is this hidden compartment. So as you pull this open, a Velcro hidden pocket fully lined on the inside and perfect for a compact or subcompact CCW capability. Now I do CCW and I do intend on using this. However, not in this particular video because Outer Limitless one, I try not to show too much in the way of firearms just because of monetization and stuff. But bottom line is this would be a great way to go and I am pumped to have this in the Katara 16. A nice large Velcro field across the front. You can see my logo and then one of VanQuest just hyper glow patches. This thing glows like crazy. So a little bit of light goes a long way. And this is literally, you're not going to see it, but it is literally glowing in the daytime. That's how bright this is. Really, really cool. Simple across the bottom, a number of lashing points and just beautifully done. I love the multi-cam black. I love the overall fit and finish, the quality features and everything about the Guitar 16. Screaming VanQuest, screaming Outer Limitless, and screaming Outdoor Adventure. So to the people at VanQuest, nicely done. What are you doing?
This way. Over here. No, easy. Look, Luna. Easy. Over here. Come. Over here. Come. This way. Come on. Yep. Right here. Yep. Easy. 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 What does her brain tell her? Is not smart. Oh my god. This is a test. What does her safety instinct tell her? Oh my god. Safety instinct says go for it. <laughs> she wants it so bad. <laughs> She's in! <laughs> you crazy nut! <laughs> Over here, this way. Yep, good girl, this way. Over here. Nope. To me. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. There you go. Yep. Good girl. There you go. Good girl! And so, alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for following along. I hope you enjoyed this adventure, Luna. Thank you very much to the people at VanQuest who did provide this for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor. Take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.